In this video, we're going to explore how we can solve with our time cartesian the axis here correctly. So we have this here all nicely and it will not clip off a certain part of the bar or remove the label at the first one, which is a common issue if you're going to use time cartesian with time. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to fix the x-axis scale in the time cartesian in chart.js. So with this, this specific video or this question came from one of my other videos about how to format dates in the tooltip in chart.js, which is an interesting video. And then in here, if you scroll down, you can see here the question came from Paras Rawat. So a special thank you to Paras for asking this question. And this is what he's asking. Can you make a video on going through a chart using the next and previous button in the time cartesian scale axis? When I'm doing it, it is not showing x-axis scale properly. It removes the first index and the x-axis scale and also cuts the bar graph first bar or uh, first bar, yes. I think it happens because some of the issues with the timestamp. All right. So let's start to explore what I'm going to solve here is not the previous and the next button because that is basically uh, an item that uh, comes from the timestamp, which is correct. So let's solve that one and I will make another video with the previous and next button for the time cartesian. However, I do have a video about next and uh, previous button as well. I already have them somewhere on YouTube. But let's start to explore how to solve your current issue. So first of all, we're going to get the default code. Let's go to chartjs 3com getting started, and in here, then we're going to copy this chunk of code. Let's copy this. And once we copy that, we're going to paste this in here. And once we have that, I'm going to cut out this title and put in there. There you are. All right, let's save this and solve that. So now we have this refresh. We have now a bar chart here. So let's convert this into a time cartesian version so to do this we have the bar here but then in here i'm going to create an x scale and this x scale will be focused based on the time format so we say here we're going to remove this but we say x scale then we say here type and this time equals time comma and then we say here time which is the object basically we're creating a new object here and then we say here the time and this time will be based on the unit and the unit equals day and that's a string. So if I save this and then refresh, you can see nothing happens or at least it becomes blank. Why we have to do certain settings here. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to hide the labels because this will not be any more useful or it's not necessary here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab here this and we're going to change this. So what I will do is that I'll just remove that one or comment this out and then put in here data. And then we're going to put in here brackets and make sure you have a comma here. And in between here, we're going to use curly braces. And then in here, all what we will do here is basically set up a X and Y value. And what it is here, for example, here the X value here, let's put in a date. And what is the current date for today? That is 10 October. So we say here 2021, 10 October, comma Y. And then we have here the value, this could be a number, and I'm just going to grab here the 18. So what I will do here, I'll put a comma and duplicate this six more times. So we have seven items, so one, two, what is three, four, five, six, seven. And let's change this and we make it 11, 12, just to give it different dates. And here I'll just make this 12, six, nine, 12, three, and nine. If I save this now and refresh, still nothing happens. Why? We didn't use the date adapter in here. So what we're going to do is we go in here to chartjsorg.com. We can click here on ecosystem. And in the ecosystem, we're going to scroll down here, searching for the adapters. Click on the adapters. Then you can see here the option. I would say here, if you're only going to use the date adapter, use, lock, uh, use date FNS. If you need to use Loxon, you will have to get the Loxon default and the, the adapter of Loxon. And I prefer to use Loxon if I need to use certain functions from here because their documentation is just easier to read compared to DateFNS. However, DateFNS only requires one JavaScript file. So we click on this, we scroll down here, and we just only grab this specific one here. 
this bundle, we copy that, and then we're going to paste that one in here just after the chart.js library. We're going to paste this. Why this one is dependent on whatever is in here. This is very important. So we're going to save this, go back here, refresh, and now it works. I'm surprised that 16 October has a weird value here. Uh, let's double check here. Why is that? What am I missing? All right, the reason what we're missing here is this. So let's put in here 16, so then it will work correctly. So refresh here, now it works nicely. All right, so if we have this here, you might see this here, pay attention here, we have now the date that works nice. So the issue was if you would have not a date, or at least that your date is being, uh, you have what we call clipped off. That's your issue here. So let's do this. So what you would do here is basically the following. I'm going to say here, we make a date object out of it. We say here date. We're going to convert this into a date object. And this date object, we're going to copy this. We're going to put it all in here. We'll put that one there. And here are these parentheses. Save that. Refresh. Now you can see here what's going on. So there's two issues here. The label here disappears. Secondly, we're moving a bit here because you can see here what is happening. It's grabbing the date, but it also grabs the date in my local time zone, which is plus eight compared to GMT or Greenwich Mean Time. And that's here basically the issue. So this is the 8 a.m. And this is why it doesn't show here and it now starts to move and cut. So if you would solve this, you could put, do here, for example, an exact time. So we're going to put in a time here. So if we say here t00 colon 00 colon 00, if I save this and refresh, we're now getting, uh, this one will get correct, but you might notice that this here is incorrect and this might sometimes cut. So what can we do here? The issue here basically is this. We have to work here with the following here and that is in the X scale. If you will do this, this will eventually solve it. So we say here offset, we can set this on true or false. And this will control if we need to put in space between or not. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to just put this all and then here, copy that, paste these. So we're going to reset the time to, to zero. All right, so now you can see we are now back on 12 a.m. So this works nicely. And here the offset as well. If I would comment this out, let's see what will happen. Apparently it just works here fine. If I maybe do this and maybe say this is false. You can see this is basically what is happening. So one or the other you need to use. So it might be uh, that something is being cut off here. And then you have this item here. And this probably will especially be if you have a certain minimum value here. So let me show you this. This will might be the item as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here minimum value. And the minimum value will be, let's grab one of the specific dates here. We're going to say here a minimum value will be this. But I'm going to remove the time value here. I'm going to put a comma, and then here, let's say here, max, because I think this is probably what you're using as well. So let's say here, max will be, uh, instead of the max value here, let's grab here 13, number 13. So we will have only halfway through. Save this, refresh. Now you have this. You can see here, we're getting these cut off values here, which is probably undesirable. So how do we solve this? That's basically the offset here. We set this one here, we put it in here. Let's see if this works here. All right, it doesn't work really 100% here. You can see here the time is also not correct because we have this one part a bit cut off incorrectly. What we need to do here is also get this correct time value because here basically it grabs my local time zone, which is plus eight. eight. So that basically here it moves it and it's, it moves to plus eight as well. So if I put this here, and put that, save this, refresh. We have this, all right. So let's see if I get this now. If I do the offset, remove the offset just to make sure. There we are. So now we get the correct structuring. So basically those two are the ones, and I will make another video where we can do a uh, previous and next button if we have multiple dates as well. So however, this will be probably your core issue, while the other one is uh, probably less of an issue, especially 
if you have seen my other video that I have here. So I have another video specifically that's how to show dynamic data with a previous and next button in Chart.js. So probably if you watch this video, you should be able to do it, but I will make a separate video with the time card is on because there might be another challenge, of course, but I'm not 100% certain about that. So next video will come as well. However, I would recommend to watch this one because you already have the core issue solved now.